So the password settings uh, and the password requirements that we have within our environment need to set, uh, be set to a minimum level of standards. Now understand that the PCI DSS should not be considered the gold standard by any means. Uh, a lot of people might even consider it a copper standard. I've even seen and talked to people that it said it's more like a PVC standard around uh, you know, the, the level of security that we're expecting. Uh, the PCI DSS requires that password require at least seven characters uh, and that, that we have an alphanumeric uh, or alphanumeric requirements within that password. Um, that's what's required. I would recommend to you though that you uh, teach your staff how to create a pass phrase rather than just a password. Uh, the reason being is that there's things out there called rainbow tables where a lot of these passwords, uh, if I get a hold of the hashes, have been calculated out to 13 and 14 characters. Um, I would recommend at least eight or nine characters from a minimum setting from an organizational, from a security perspective. But the PCI DSS requires that we only have a minimum of seven characters and that they contain alpha and numeric. Now, there is some caveats to this. If you ever read the guidance uh, to this particular requirement, uh, over there on the right-hand side, it talks about password entropy and password equivalency. Uh, we're, not to go, we're not going to go into that as part of this particular video series, but if you have an application or an environment that cannot meet the password requirements, uh, there are things that you can do to meet uh, this particular requirement by using password equivalency or what they call pa the, the password entropy.